y'all so today i'm back with another makeup look and today's look is going to be this one that i'm wearing right now i know it's something different something intense something bold but like i said i wanted to do something different here in my channel so i came out with this makeup look and I'm really, really liking the lipstick. I know it looks black, but it's not a black. I promise you, it's just a really, really dark brown that I paired out with this uh, green, kind of like a smoky green eye makeup look. Feel free to change it up if you want to go for a different lipstick, if you want to add a nude lipstick, just wear whatever you feel comfortable with. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I create this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I already prepped my eyes for my eyeshadows. I use the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Under Eye Concealer. Um, prepping your eyes is really, really important before you put any eyeshadows. I have a lot of girls asking me, my eyeshadows don't last long, I put it in the morning, and then within a few hours, it's completely gone. Well, you have to prep your eyes. You can use a primer or you can use a concealer, but as long as you prep them, as long as you use something on it before the eyeshadow something for the eyeshadow to hold to grab on it um you shouldn't have any problems so it's really really important you prep your eyes before eyeshadows okay since i want to do a cool tone eye makeup look um i want to go for a cool tone transition shade so um sometimes it's a little hard for me to find the perfect cool tone eyeshadow so if you don't have one don't worry you can just go ahead and use a cool tone bronzer or contour for example i have two right here i have the wet and wild um it has a pretty good cool tone contour or you can just go for the elf I have the e.l.f. contour palette and it also has a, um, a cool tone contour side so you can just use that and replace that for an eyeshadow okay so I'm grabbing my Morphe palette and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this brown right here like I said it's a cool tone brown because I'm going with a cool tone look um, so I'm taking this one right here and like I said don't worry if you don't have one um, just go for a contour or a bronzer on a fluffy brush I'm gonna start putting that color all over my crease and that's gonna be my transition shade And I'm staying close to the crease. I don't want to take this color too high up to my brow bone. So depending on your preference, if you want to take take it all the way high up, you can do that. If not, just make sure you stay on the crease. Okay, so once I'm done applying that transition shade all over my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my lid. And I wanna apply a base before I apply my eyeshadows. This is going to give the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be using a little bit more, um, I guess a little bit more color. It's gonna look a little bit more intense and it's gonna help it grab onto that base. So I'm gonna be using a crayon. This is like an eyeshadow crayon. This is from the Brian Tristic. Um, I got this one on one of my Etsy bags and it's just like this and it has like a it's like a green like a dark green um, color with like a charcoal undertone like a grayish um, undertone and it has a little bit of kind of like gold sparkles in it but it's not gonna show once I put the eyeshadow on it, it's really not gonna show so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these all over my, my lid. Okay, so I'm done applying the base. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on straight to the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be using this green eyeshadow from the same Morphe palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this color over the base that I just applied on my lid.
once I'm done applying the um, lid eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the same cool tone brown that I apply on my crease and just go over it just to make sure that those two colors connect, the one on my lid and the one on my crease, and there will be any harsh lines. I'm gonna go back with more of that green eyeshadow that I put on my lid just because I think it got a little bit blended away with all the blending that I just did on my crease. Next I'm gonna be taking this um, color, this is like a shimmery champagne gold um, kind of color. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that one on my brow bone and that's going to be um, highlighting my brow bone. Okay, so once I'm done applying all the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyeliner. And I want to create a pretty thick um, long wing so I'm gonna take my wet and wild um, eyeliner pen this is a felt tip eyeliner um, and I'm gonna go ahead and create that wing you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can just um, go ahead and apply some mascara if you're gonna be using some falsies if you don't want it apply the eyeliner just leave it like that Okay, so I already applied the eyeliner, now I'm gonna go ahead and move to the lashes. I'm gonna add some mascara to my lashes and then I'm gonna add some false eyelashes. The lashes that I'm using today are the Ardell lashes, these are the 113. I really, really like these lashes, they look really, really full, really long. Um, they are a little bit more glam than the Wispies. The Wispies look a little bit more short and a little bit more um, natural. These ones are a little bit more on the glamour side, but I really, really like this one. Moving into my face, I'm going to take the same Maybelline concealer that I use on my eyes and I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my um, under eye area just so I can conceal and um, kind of like erase a little bit of my um, under eye dark circles. I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. All right, moving on to my foundation. I'm gonna be using my Red Blonde lately. I've been loving, loving, loving this foundation. Um, so I'm gonna be using this one today. And then to conceal under my eyes, I'm gonna be using my NYX HD Concealer. You guys have seen me doing this um, process over and over and over again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. I'm gonna be setting my concealer using this um, banana shade from my Kat Van D palette. And I kind of want to bake my under eye area with this with this um, setting powder, so. I'm gonna be packing these on under there.
Okay, moving on to my contouring and bronzing, I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D palette, and I'm gonna start with this um, cool tone shade, just to create um, some shadows on my face and lift my features a little bit. And I'm gonna be using this Temper Blush Brush from Eco Tools. And right now, I kind of just want to place the contouring. And then I'm going to be blending it out. All right, taking the same palette, I'm moving on to the more warm tone of bronzer and I'm gonna go ahead and just warm up my face and at the same time blend out that contouring. Now for my blush, I wanna go for a cool tone um, blush. So I'm gonna be using this one from e.l.f. This one is called Blushing Rose. Moving back to my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the same cool tone brown that I used on my crease and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my bottle lash line. I'm also gonna apply this pencil. This is from NYX Wonder Pen, and this is just like a highlight pencil. I'm gonna apply it on my waterline. This is gonna open up my eyes a little bit more and just brighten them up a little. Okay, so now for my favorite part, highlighting. I'm gonna be taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Bake Highlighter, and there's no such thing as too much highlighting, so I'm gonna go crazy with it. And then for the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be using one of the um, Milani shadows. This is the Bella Chiffon. This is a beautiful shadow, and I actually use it for highlighting because it's just it's just beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on the um, inner corners of my eye just to brighten them up a little bit more Okay, so we are almost done with this look and to finish it up, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. And for this look, I wanna go for a really bold, cool tone lip color. So I'm gonna be using one of the NYX Ombre Lip Duo. This is a pen and this one is in Cookies and Cream. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using another NYX product. This is the Lingerie um, Liquid um, Lipstick. And this one is in, does it have a name on it? Yeah, this one is in Teddy. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this one and kind of fill them up, and then I'll go over with this. This color is a really, really dark brown, so it almost looks like black, but it's a brown. All 
all right you guys so this is pretty much it for this cool tone makeup look and to be honest with you i am really really liking it sometimes we get really intimidating by these kind of looks just because they look really intense really bold but as long as you feel comfortable with it just go for it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video bye